Hello and welcome back to Tips of Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can apply outlining to an Excel worksheet. Over here, I have a marketing budget. Now, the marketing budget plan is a template. I went over to the Office button in Excel 2007 and I chose new. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to download a template within the category of budgets, business budgets, and I chose the marketing budget plan. Now I did change some of the values in there, and now what I want to do is I want to apply an outline. I want to differentiate between the big picture and the detail. So what I have here is the detail. To show the uh, the big picture, I want to apply a dead, uh, an outline. So I select any cell within the worksheet. On the uh, ribbon, I come over here into the data tab of the ribbon. In the outline group, I come over here into group. Notice that there's group, ungroup, and subtotal. So in this case, I want to choose group. And rather than choosing group, which would mean that I would select cells ahead of time, I want to choose the auto outline. Now the auto outline gives me two levels of outlining for the columns and three levels of outlining for the rows. Let's take a look at the difference. Over here, when I go to level one for the columns, it suppresses January, February, March, April, May. Level two reveals January, February, March, etc. So in this case, I want to go to level one for the columns. Over here for the rows, I have three levels of outlining, one, two, and three. Level 1 gives me the overall picture. So what it's doing is giving me a cross tab for the months of the year as a total. It's giving me the total by row. If I come in here to level 2, this is probably what I'm looking for. What I want to have over here is a subtotal for each of the categories. Personnel, market research, market communications, etc. for the year as a total. Now, let me show you how this all comes about. In this case, what I want to do is I want to remove the outline. So I'm going to, again, go up to Data, come over here into Outline, and I want to say Ungroup and Clear the Outline. Let's first take a look at how this data is set up. And whenever I inherit a data, whenever I inherit a worksheet from a client, I want to first go through and verify where are the cells that contain formulas. An easy way to do that is to use the F5 keyboard shortcut, which brings up the Go To dialog box. Within the Go To dialog box, come down here into Special, and then choose Formulas. So by choosing the formulas in the Go To Special, I have all the cells that contain formulas highlighted. To make this really clear, in Excel 2007, come over here to the Home tab, and let's come over here within the Font Group and choose a color that makes it very, very clear that over here I've used the Sum function to say Sum these rows. I've used the Sum function to say Sum these columns. Now that I have a nice hierarchy set up, it's really easy to go through and outline this data. Now I'm going to use Control Z to undo that uh, formatting that I applied. Now, what I want to do is I want to see an outline. Now, as opposed to applying a pivot table or a subtotal, notice that I've set up, or this template, has blank rows in between each of these columns. If I were going to do a subtotal or a pivot table, I would have to go through and first remove these blank rows and next remove the subtotals that I have over here for the columns. Well, I don't have to do that. So in this case, I have my data set up. I go over here to the Data tab of the ribbon. In the Outline group, I go over to Group, and I choose Auto Outline. So there is my detail. Now over here, notice that I can either hide or reveal the detail for any one of the categories. So when I click on the minus sign, what it does, it suppresses the detail. When I click on the plus, it reveals the detail. 
So in addition to the global one, two, or three outline views, I can reveal or hide any of the individual levels. Now, what I might want to do over here is to say I want to hide certain of the categories and I want to show the detail for others, but I don't want to have to do this every time. So what I can do is come over here to the View tab of the ribbon and I can come over here into Custom Views and I can create a view. So in this case, I can say, all right, this is the view that I want. What I want to do is I want to add a view. And I'll just call this Danny. And I'll click OK. Now, what I can do is that within the views, come over here into View, Custom Views. First off, go into the normal view, which does not have any um, of the subtotals. And then change that by going into View, custom view coming in here and saying show me the Danny view highlight it and say there it is so having those custom views is a great way to be able to see the views that you do on a, on a regular basis there's another great keyboard shortcut that you can use if you want to have more of the real estate in other words more of the detail on view and less of these outlines you can use the keyboard shortcut control 8 so control 8 is a toggle in this case whatever detail we revealed or hidden we now see but we don't see those outlining symbols for the columns and the rows it's a toggle control 8 brings it back control 8 hides it so it's a great way to interactively be able to see the detail or the high level view that you want in your spreadsheet and of course you can also remember to use the view so if you go into a view and if you've created a custom view you can come back in here and see for example the normal view and then click OK and there it goes so there is a great way to use outlines to either see the top level view the big picture or to see the detail of your data and I'll see you in the next lesson